All right, this is the Algebra 1 Intercourse Practice Test 2, question number 27. The question says, which is an equivalent representation for the relation below? Um, so we're just going to look at the graph here and try to make some statement about um, if the points match up. So let's just match some points quickly. That'll knock out A and B if they're not right. So A says it should start at negative 1, 1, which means it should be a dot right here. And there isn't, so A is out. If all of them don't match, it's not the right answer. B says that I should have an answer at negative 3 and negative 1. So I'm going to look at negative 3 and go down to negative 1. And there should be a dot right there, and there's not. So you know that's not correct either. So B is out. Now I'm going to look at what it actually says uh, for C and D. C and D say that x and y is such that y equals x plus 2 or y equals x minus 2 for all integers negative 1 to 3. What they're saying is that the x value of this set would be between negative 1, am I drawing things a little off, and 3. Those are my x values. You don't see any dots going up at 4 or down at negative 2, so that's a legitimate concern that they're setting this restriction. Now, all I have to do is figure out whether this line that I make between them, essentially, even though they're discrete answers and not technically a line, but whatever, don't worry about that too much, um, is y equals x plus 2, or y equals x minus 2. The only difference between those two things, of course, is where their intercept is. This c value, or the equation for c, says that it should have a y-intercept at plus 2. That would mean that it would be up here. It is not up there, so you can forget it. Uh, the D is the correct answer, because not only does it set correct, uh, uh, correct limits, it also uh, crosses at the correct y-intercept, which is minus 2. And if you wanted to plug them in, you could do that. So negative 1 times x minus 2 should give you negative 3, and that's where it is. A negative 2 minus 2 should give you in the, you know, in the right general area. So at 0, it should give you 0 minus 2 and there it is perfectly at minus 2. At positive 1 it should give you negative 1 and it does. So D is your correct answer because the graph looks right, it has all the parts that fit correctly, and the intercept meets the criteria as set forth by the graph.